Okay. Hi. We're going to read some dinosaur this morning. And you can have some little biking bits if you want. Or some pine nuts if you like. <laughs> so, all right. This one is a really good story. Frank Sinatra once gave me a cooking lesson as he drove me to the Palm Springs airport. The subject, Frank's recipe for sausage and peppers. When I reached my own digs that evening, I couldn't wait to try it out on my own front burner. It was nice, but something was missing. I called and lodged my complaint. She just called Frank Sinatra because she could do that. Then he remembered a little something he had left out. Three quarters to one cup of red wine. <laughs> Wine helps a lot, but so did the cooking lesson 70 miles per hour. <laughs> Let's find another. Cooking lesson at 70 miles an hour, how exciting. What an exciting <laughs> With Frank life. With Frank Sinatra. I bet they were like in a convertible too. I couldn't even hear anything. They're like, will you tell me a recipe? <laughs> She's done a shore. She's got to put a book together. I love little ducklings, but it has to be just right. That's gross, little baby ducks. I don't want to read that one. We read it yesterday. Eggplant is like pumpkin soup or stuffed cabbage. Some people just simply won't try it. This delicious but sneaky way to prove that how wrong they are can tell them it's stuffed purple bananas. I don't think someone would believe that they're eating stuffed purple bananas. I mean, if someone told me that, I would be even more turned off than if it was eggplant. <laughs> I, know, I like eggplant. You actually like eggplant? I like eggplant. Mm -hmm. Moussaka! We're gonna make this. What is it's, it? It's like a Greek food, apparently. It's a Isn't that a microwave cookbook? No. Oh. So eggplants, onions, lamb or meat or bre uh, beef, tomato paste, uh... Oh yeah, this one's good. I had Jake read it to you <clears throat> Okay. But I'll find it. No, not good like that, but... Okay. Harmony McCoy is a hearty gentleman who cooks healthy diet dishes at a fat farm near Los Angeles. When I went to the aforementioned spa to break the weight barrier one time, we were fed at 700 to 800 calories a day. And even those dishes were delicious. I learned subsequently he had never touched this, this stuff. Why should he? He's already down to 245 pounds from 300 by eating things like this. I thought it just said that he never eats it. That didn't work. Hugo Samuels is a Chilean gentleman's gentleman, singer, butler, and now chef. People, that water's nasty. I don't know where that water is. You know. <laughs> Water to stay alive. Sausage cornmeal pie. <laughs> Pauline, as you can see, mix this with four eggs. I add two extra whites. I don't want to press my luck. Very nice yesterday. Godfrey is a very funny man. He also has a little weight problem from one time to time. I trust almost anybody who has any of these two qualities going for him. I bet Godfrey cooks this dish on my TV show. It's more delicious than it is funny. <laughs> <laughs> if you're serving a light meat course, this is one great for your starch. Okay. This is another international story. I've never had anything quite like these potatoes. I first had them at the... St 
Stockholm. Ach, egal, in, in Stockholm. In a lovely, lovely garden restaurant. I've tried many different ways of reproducing the recipe. This one only seems to come with the closest. It sounds like a lot of trouble, but believe me, it's worth it. That was in Germany. In Germany? The Deutschland! The Rhineland! Okay. Back in the days when George was under the contract of 20th Century Fox, we were in New York on one occasion when Miss Spiro Sukura's wife of Fox's chairman of the board invited us to their Long Island estate for the weekend. Hey, that's like where Bernie lived, right? Bernie? We get at Bernie's? What? He had like a fancy estate to go to for the weekend. Well, okay, but right? it's probably not that one. Is that where Bernie lives? No, Bernie's dead. <laughs> <laughs> she served some truly unusual dishes. One of the most memorable was these flavorful string beans. An unusual string bean dish should be cherished, and that's rare. <gasps> oh yeah, we found notes from the people who had the book. <laughs> Unusual party drinks from a great party giver. Oh, there's one. Blend gin or vodka with ice cream and freshly clayed lemon zest. Pour into a flute glass decorate with spring of mint. So, ice cream and vodka? vodka? Or gin. Gin's okay. <sighs> we couldn't read this one. I don't want to try and read. I hate fucking cursive. Cabbage and pine nuts! You wouldn't think Dinah Muriel Robertson would have spent so much time slaving over a hot stove, but her small dinner parties always contain some delightful surprise. Like, for instance, the, the following cabbage recipe. <laughs> Come on, give me a good story, bitch. Stole this one from my mom. Do what? My sister Bessie is an incredible lady. I oh, read that yesterday. I don't remember it being good. Pen pal. Her name is Miss Bernice Allen. She writes me wonderful letters often about my many subjects. I'm really interested in politics, people, campus activities. Her husband is a professor. Books, music, plays, movies, me! And occasionally she sends me a recipe. Here's a beaut. There's another one called Cheese Pit. I'm 118, but they're both unusual and have graduated from the tennis player. Oh, I gotta check them. Did you burn the bacon again? Just about. No, it's perfect. Way to go, Donna Shore. We're fine. Oh, it wasn't me. I thought you were calling me Donna Shore, and I was like, do I have to get this bacon out? Right, turn around the door, grease on you. 